Hey guys, I'm Far53 here, just coming at you with a little bit of a tutorial. It's going to be really quick, but I want to help out the YouTubers that are having some issues with their uploading times. Um, I I try really hard to basically uh, eliminate my uploading time, um, you know, due to the fact that you know some files that you go and upload onto YouTube tend to go either 119 minutes, 120, 130, and on. And it just gets really annoying, and you shouldn't have to wait that long. <clears throat> now, you can use other programs, but the program that I use most is Handbrake. Um, Handbrake is very simple to use, um, very quick. It compresses a 4 gig file to probably mm, 100 megabytes or more, maybe a little bit more. Um, but that is drastic when you go to upload and especially helps you if you have a slow upload speed normally no matter what um, you know so the easiest thing to do is once you get done editing your video you just basically open up handbrake after you exported the video so for here I have um, I have a whole bunch of videos I'll, I think I have one that I haven't done yet but um, basically how you do this is you go ahead and download Handbrake you open up Source now this is on the Mac side it is also on Windows platforms too I should just let you know that and they're gonna look a little bit different but the same steps is gonna take place on both the Windows and the Mac so here I have a whole list of um, basically AVI files here that I can't use on my Mac so I have to trans uh, convert them to M4V or MP4 M4V is basically the same thing as MP4, um, but let's just take this one here for example. Um, if we look, see if we can get the size. Okay, so this is 643.2 megabytes. Now I'm going to go ahead and open this. It's going to go ahead and process that. So it's going to show the source file here. Okay, it's going to have the title, the source, how long it is angle, how many chapters, blah blah blah, none of that really matters. The only thing that matters is that you have the correct source as well as the destination that you want it to go to. So I always go to my desktop first then I can go ahead and transport to my externals. Now you have two file options, you have the mp4 file or the mkv file. I would suggest using the mp4 file for uploading to YouTube and then web optimize and that also helps especially when you're uploading from a Mac QuickTime is uh, a pain in the butt with the processing the upload will be quick the processing will take a while not too sure why but if you web optimize it it definitely helps down here you really don't need to do anything this is for audio this is for the video um, video codecs I use the H.264 uh, YouTube recommends it um, but it's your preference, of course. Anything else here you don't really need to play with unless you know what you're doing. Um, for the purpose of just uploading to YouTube, there is no need to go into any of these advanced settings. The only thing you need to do is source, choose file, choose destination, format, web optimize. And then all you have to do is hit start. Now once you hit start, if you look at the bottom here, it's uh, going ahead and encoding. So right here, it's telling me it's going to take roughly about a minute for it to go and process through. So I'm going to cut this part out, and I'll be back to you right before it finishes. Hey guys, welcome back. We have less than 8 seconds to go for this uh, to be finished encoding. Once it's finished encoding, we're going to take a look at the file size and see how much down. Put that cocktail down, your handbrake queue is done. Yes, also another thing with uh, handbrake is you can queue other videos that you need to convert. And once one's done, it will just go right to the next one. It's, it's really great. Okay, so that encode was finished. So let's go ahead and find it. So let's just go ahead and take a look. Get some information about this. It started out at, what, 600 megabytes? took it down to 14.7 megabytes. That is definitely doable. Okay guys, so basically that is how you use Handbrake and to basically lower the amount of time it takes for you to upload YouTube videos. If you found this video helpful, please give me a like and a subscription. 
um, or I should say subscribe to my channel. Basically, um, I'm a, mainly in a gaming channel, but I do think that I am going to th throw up a couple tips here and there on how I do things. Not saying that it's the correct way, but you know what? I The way I found it to basically help me upload my videos a lot quicker, a lot more efficient, and to be able to keep the file size down and be able to store all my videos on my um, external drives. Yes, I do keep my raw footage, but I compress it as well. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I am on 553, and have a good one. You guys are awesome.